Hey everybody and happy Saturday to you. Welcome to Book Chat. I'm your host, author Vivian e. Moore. And before we get started with today's show, I just want to give out these URLs. Um, so grab yourself a, a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper and we'll get this out of the way. So are you ready? Raise your hand if you're ready. Okay. All right. So the first one is, of course, uh, to my speaker account. And it is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.speaker.com forward slash user forward slash author Vivian E. Moore. Um, if you want to reach out to me on Facebook to follow me, like me, um, my Facebook address is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.facebook.com forward slash Vivian E. Moore. Um, if you want to check out my Pinterest page, um, that is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.pinterest forward slash I'm sorry dot Pinterest dot com uh, forward slash Vivian Moore 48 my twin Twitter handle is God's property 46 um, and um, I would love for you to check out my Instagram page it is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash Instagram dot com forward slash God's property 51 and my website I haven't added anything new to it lately. I need to get out there and update it. But what is out there is pretty cool. Um, if you want to uh, check me out, some of my basic history and, and look at some of the things that I've done uh, for 2017, um, I would love for you to do that. And that address is https colon forward slash forward slash Vivian Moore dot Wix site. That's W I X S I T E dot com. Author Vivian Moore. And also, um, you can check out my blog site as well. Um, and I upload all of the, um, the transcripts uh, from each Saturday's show um, to my blogger account. And that is Vivian E. Moore uh, dot blog site dot com. And um, also, you can um, also get the um, the um, the show on um, on iTunes, um, and I usually give out that address because it's a long one. I, I give it out when I um, send out the announcement for the show and what the show is going to be about. I do that generally on Saturday morning. So um, if you want to um, just click on that address, that iTunes address, um, then you can also listen to um, to my blog show. Uh, on uh, on iTunes, so that was just some information for you. Okay, so now let's get on to the show. Uh, today's title of the show is "What You See Is What You Get," and the topic is transparency in writing. You know, life is sometimes like like a magic trick. Um, what you see is not always what is. Um, it's an illusion, an impression of reality, but not real. As a writer and a requirement of my profession um, is to create alternate universes, um, to seduce the mind into believing that what is written on paper is real. Therefore, being transparent in what you write about is crucial. And what I mean by this is that Although the stories are fictional, uh, completely made up, however, the passion and the emotion uh, within each character is essentially real. Now, how can this be true, you might ask? If the characters aren't real and the story is fictional, how can anything about the situation hold any truth? Well, the substance of any story is based on personal experiences, so it should be. Uh, perhaps not the intimate details of one's life, but the emotion behind them. Um, it is important as a writer to allow these feelings to, to drive the story and, and move the reader. Often, they relate what they see in the characters within themselves. Life is not always simple. Let's just face it, that's just the way it is. It comes with pitfalls, highs and lows, love, hate relationships, and tragedy. And what I discovered as a writer is that all things are relatable, whether in fictional situations or reality. I learned to use um, these elements as instruments of my trade uh, to draw the readers into the story, uh, projecting emotions and humanity as a way to um, let them inside 
my universe, I allow the reader to see me in what I write. Some of my best writing comes about when I let go of my inhibitions and reveal myself. <coughs> Excuse me, pardon me, sorry about that. Basically, you can't write about life situations if you're unwilling to expose the secrets behind them. Interjecting uh, bits of who you are into each character um, is, is a good thing. I'm sorry, my throat <coughs> waited until this moment to start acting up. Pardon me. I had to take a big sip of water. <coughs> Sorry about that. Again. <clears throat> yes, we are masters of make-believe and illusions, but we are also human. Um, interpretation, it allows the readers to identify with the characters through your eyes. What I discovered throughout these many years of writing is that holding out small, uh, holding out small essences of myself, <clears throat> it was denying the readers the full potency of the characters I, I introduced to them. And I know that the stories I create, um, they they aren't about me on a personal level, but fragments of who I am is still reflected in those characters. It's okay to show the readers that you are very much human. You know, I've been on the other side of a book as a reader and was affected emotionally and life jarringly <clears throat> to the passion and amount of rawness depicted by the characters. <coughs> Pardon me. It laid me open. And I felt what the writer was trying to convey through transparency. I love authors who aren't afraid to open the doors of their hearts wide for the readers to see. The ability to make me laugh out loud and cry. To feel joy, anger, and remorse. The normalcy of life conveyed in the form of a story through transparency. I've always been just as passionate about what I read as I am about what I write. I am an emotional writer and unafraid to admit it. <clears throat> excuse me. This all this wasn't always the case. I'm sorry, but I'm having to take gulps of water to keep from coughing. This wasn't always the case in my personal life. Um because you know, I've shared with you before that, that I am introverted and, you know, basically held prisoner by my own mental hang-ups. Um, I'm getting better with it. I'm getting better about it. And I'm, I'm, this show is helping me um, to, um, to, to get better, to grow stronger um, about being in a public eye and, and, um, and doing things that are not normal for me. But, you know, being reticent in life, um, it just didn't transfer well uh, over into my career as a writer. I had to learn not to allow my overwhelming shyness to cripple me. A friend um, once said to me that if you want to be a great writer, then you must bear your soul. And I didn't understand it at the time. Now, I, I, I appreciate the, the advice because it forced me uh, to move outside of my comfort zone. Transparency is bearing your nakedness before the world, um, dispelling all the layers that keep you uh, hidden from uh, being your true self as a writer. And, you know, just remember, honesty is always the best policy in real life and on paper. Well, guys, that was my um, commentary uh, on today's show. And I, I do apologize for coughing halfway through it, but um, <clears throat> I am human and uh, subjected to a lot of elements that float around within the air. And it just waited until the, till this moment to attack me. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I've done uh, well up until this moment until I started uh, doing the show. But I guess it's, uh, it's Murphy's Law. What can happen will happen. But um, hopefully this won't happen again. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to, um, just to reiterate a bit, uh, I just wanted to share with you the importance of, of um, showing who you are as a writer through the characters. Um, you know, because it, it gives life. Um, it gives a stronger meaning to uh, what you are trying to convey through those characters by being transparent, by showing bits and pieces of who you are as the writer um, in those characters. That's very important. Um, it makes for a stronger story. Uh, it makes for stronger characters. Um, it makes what the story that you're telling, it makes it more believable and more relatable. So um, just think about that, about being uh, more transparent uh, in what you're trying to say or what you're trying to do as a writer um, through your characters. Now, um, I um, I just, um, sometimes I just need to, um, you know, make people aware <clears throat> that there is more to writing than just telling a story. Um, there are a lot of steps involved. And a lot of things that you can learn um, through writing, you know, it is um, one of those skill building uh, careers where the more you do something, the more you learn. And you have to be passionate about whatever you do in life. And writing is my passion. It's something that I, I eat, live, breathe it, you know, daily. And, uh, and I've expressed on many times how it, it's like a part of me, um, you know, as, as important as, as my hands and my feet, my brain and my heart, um, you know, it, it's just, it's part of me, it's in me. <clears throat> and this is why it's so important for me um, to share the knowledge that, I've have, that, I, that I have, that I have obtained um, over the years with other writers that are coming up that may not be certain about their career paths. Um, I'm sorry about that. My my other computer just booted itself up, so I apologize for that, too. Evidently, this is the day for um, mishaps, but anyway. Um, and I want to strengthen those new authors by giving this advice, um, you know, just giving them something to, um, to just to look at, to, to learn from, <clears throat> that they can use throughout their career. And as I often said before, I don't know everything. I'm still learning too. But what I do know, I share. And, um, you know, it, it, to me, it just, it helps me to, um, you know, to, to pay it forward, so to speak. Because, you know, in my mind's eye, that's how I see it, as paying it forward by giving, you know, giving out this information. By doing this show um, every Saturday, and, um, you know, I, I pray that I never get tired of doing it. I pray that I always have something to talk about, um, especially as it, as it applies to writing, um, because it is important to, for me um, to, um, to share this information uh, with, um, with, uh, with other writers, other authors, or, or people who just listen to the show on a general basis. Um, and I would love to have some feedback and, and to... Um, to read your comments and ideas about the show, um, you know, you can, um, at, at any of the, um, the social media URLs I gave you, um, if you don't want to go to the Spreaker account, you can uh, always just leave me a message, give me a thumbs up, whatever, you know, let me know that, uh, that you are listening and enjoying the show. I haven't checked the stats in a long while um, to see what the total is now, but I'm just a little past um, a year uh, in doing the show, but that on the next show, I'll have the stats of uh, of how many listeners that uh, that I've obtained uh, over this past year. Um, of course, tomorrow is worship day, and I hope that uh, that you plan on going to church tomorrow and uh, taking a family member with you or or um, a friend, someone who doesn't go to church on a regular basis. Uh, take them out to to hear the word of God because that's important. Um, and tell somebody that you love them because tomorrow is not promised. I love you. I hope you love me back. Until next Saturday at 6 p.m., God bless you and goodbye.